You see, every time, you may not be singing a song, but every time you say, this body is for the Lord. I say no to sin. You're worshiping God. So, you and I must learn to see your body as something that has been offered to God as a sacrifice. So when sin comes knocking, when temptations pull, you say, this body is a living and do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So he's writing to us believers. Believers, don't be conformed. Don't pattern yourself. Don't fashion yourself to the ways of this world. But you are watching out to make sure that you don't conform yourself, or you don't follow the fashions of this world, the patterns of this world, in a way that dishonors God. See, here's where many of us believers fail. We get saved, but our lives are so world-like, just like the world, because we forgot to renew our mind. And how to renew your mind is a process. It takes time that you and I Feed our mind with the word of God. What does it mean to renew our mind? It means to change our way of thinking. That instead of thinking the ways of this world, we start thinking the thoughts and the ways of God. So we That's why the word of God is so important. Because as the word of God begins to uh, uh, dominate our mind, our thinking, and we align our thinking according to God's word, our mind are, is being renewed. Someone might, might say, you know, you Christians are brainwashed. You say, yeah, my mind was so dirty, it needed to be washed. You know? Thank God it's washed with the right stuff. It's washed with the word of God. My mind is holy. My mind is pure. It's filled with the ways and the thoughts of God. Thank God. I'm happy. As he continues there, verse three and, we'll read verses 3, 4, and 5. He says, for I say to the grace given to me, to everyone who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly. As God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. For as we are many members in one body, but all members do not have the same function. So we being many are one body in Christ and individually members of one another. So now he says, renew your mind. And as you think, here's how you should think. First of all, he says, think soberly. Now let no man think of himself more highly than he ought to think. Don't have an inflated estimation of yourself. In proportion to the faith God has given you, as God has dealt to each one a measure of, so every believer has been given faith. Think aligned to that. Think in proportion to your faith. And another thing he says is also think in these terms. For, he says in verse 4 and 5, uh, a body has many members, all members have some function, but all members do not have the same function. So think like this. Think as a one body with many members. As believers, we don't live our lives in isolation. We live as part of a body. So just think like that. For we have a body as many members. So we are all members of that one body. Every member has some function. Amen? Every person who's part of this body, you have a function. God has something that he's placed you here for. Now he says, but all members don't have the same function. That means you don't have to try to be like somebody else. You be what God has made you to be. You serve the way God has made you to serve. That's it. But think like this. We are one body with many members. First thing he says when, it, when he starts talking about relationships is this. Let love be without hypocrisy. Abhor what is evil. Cling to what is good. Let love be genuine. Now don't fake it. See? In business world, they say, fake it too. But in church, don't. <laughs> church, be real. Let love be real. Love genuinely out of your heart. Because people can tell that you're just doing it for show. You're just doing it to impress somebody. So he says, let love be genuine. Let love uh, be without hypocrisy. It's not a put on thing. He's genuinely love people. You care for people. And he says, 
you hate what is evil, you love what is good. Thank you.